there are several tools we need to talk about that are very large for the outdoors. And the first one is this one. This is the DBGM made in Germany, Decora Solingen, something like that. I'm probably butchering the name, but something like that. And it has your main blade. Then it has several functions at the top right here as well. You have the scales and then you have the file and again several different functions this seems to be a saw uh, perhaps a this is more like a screwdriver almost like a chisel on the end and then you do have the cork you do have an all of sorts and then i think perhaps this is an old-fashioned can opener there's some tool i believe if i remember right that is a can opener so it has many different functions and it's not particularly perhaps as effective as some multi-tools. It doesn't have pliers and so forth, but I applaud the effort that whoever made this, the uh, inventor of this, put into packing a bunch in a space that would have just comprised of a handle. So that's pretty cool, and also the blade. So this is a unique example of something from perhaps the 50s or the 40s, and a multi-use outdoor tool. Now, the next one I wanna talk about is actually from Spain. This is from Germany, and I have had a really hard time getting information on this. This is the Aetor uh, Stainless Inox made in Spain. And the only thing I can find is that it might be a Black Scout from the 1970s. And there's sort of like a, a discarded item or discontinued item list. They have something similar to this, but it, it seems to have not have the saw blade on the top, but everything else is fairly similar. So this is, again, another multi-function tool. You have your fine serrated knife blade here. You have your regular blade here. You have your saw blade in the back. So again, you can see some influence from earlier designs. And then this design looks better, obviously, because it's newer. But then in the back, you have a couple other tools. So you have this can opener and a bottle cap lifter all in one on this side. And then they decide to go just more minimalist and they just added, and if I can get this out right here, this is fairly hard to get out. And there we go, we've got the corkscrew on this side and the spring tension is <laughs> pretty, pretty tough. It's actually easier, I think, if you pull this out uh, because you're lessening some of the tension, I think, on it. But anyway, you have the all as, or not the all, the corkscrew as well. But I would assume you would want this in the sheath because I don't think you want to have your hand near the blade. And then this is unique as well, I guess to some extent, in that it has the sharpening stone on the back, and that's pretty nice as well. So again, there this company is known more for making Victorinox similar uh, multi-tools, things similar to Victorinox models, but this is sort of a odd model in that it's a multi-tool and a large fixed blade knife. So that's an interesting also blade as well. So my favorite of all these tools is actually this next tool 7-in-1 and it comes with this holder where you have the fire starter, the ferro rod, and then it has this neat uh, belt attachment and you can also use a clip like an S-clip and attach it to a backpack and so forth. And then you have a shovel and an axe head. So how you do this is you have this loose like so and then you can tighten this in and it sort of locks, locks into place like so. And then it also locks into place like so as well. And so uh, that's pretty cool. You can use it as, again, as the shovel. And then on the other side, uh, on the other side, you can bring out the ax handle. And then you've got this multi-tool, not only with the shovel, but with the ax handle as well. And then you can go ahead and collapse this. Now in the back, it comes with a secret compartment. Well, not all that secret, but 
and in that compartment it comes with a saw and then also a knife. Now these are fairly thin. They're not the toughest in the world, so just be aware of that. But one of the unique features is that this right here flips out like so, and then this actually sits on here, and then you can lock it into place. And then if you were in a situation where you needed to, let's say, saw some tree limbs and you needed some extra height, you could actually use this handle again to get that extra height. So that's pretty cool as well. So it has a lot of really neat features. Now, this was on Walmart's website, this was on AliExpress, and then it suddenly disappeared. And I was really disappointed because, again, this is like one of my favorite of Nextool's multi-tools, and then this just fits in the back like so. So this is one of my favorite Nextool's multi-tools. I really think it's a pretty neat tool. I keep it in the back of my car all the time, just in case I would need it. I've never used it, thankfully never need it yet, but in case I would, I keep it in the back there. Uh, but it disappeared from everywhere. It was out of stock, and then I just saw that it's in stock on AliExpress, and hopefully it will be in Walmart again. Then you sort of have some cord here as well braided. So pretty cool tool, and I do like this as well. Let me know your thoughts on all these outdoor tools. Is it a waste of time? Should you only have plier-based multi-tools? Is that the only thing you should ever have? Or is there a place for these? And what is the best place for these and the best use for larger outdoor multi-tools? Let me know in the comments below.